I'm trying something a little different this time. There's been no hissing or anything like that. It's okay, Bukini. Everything's fine. Oh, ow, I can't bend over like that. Okay, maybe this is not a good day to do this. Ow. So, yeah, my back is doing better than yesterday, but it's still very unhappy with me. Okay, I guess I'm just letting you out. Well, that didn't work. Nobody's chasing you, kitty. Zone was being so sleepy. I mean, do you want to try in here? There's definitely a missing in here, and he's a lot more active. Although, he's also sleepy. It's sleepy kitty time. No. Okay, boo. I'll see you later. My, hello there, kitty cat. You're looking quite regal today. Mm-hmm. Yes. Aww. Good kitten internet. So you may have noticed that I didn't have a video yesterday. And there's a really good reason for that. Um, I actually did record video. I'm merging it with this one because I didn't get a chance to upload it. And it was kind of short anyway because I was in a... Ooh, I caught a yawn. Nice. I was in a lot of pain yesterday, so um, cut to that for a moment. Good kitten internet. I'm feeling like garbage thanks to Isin, so not the skinny, deciding to play hide and seek with me. Only I was trying to get him into his room because it's supposed to be other kitties' turns to be out and about. Unfortunately, his idea of hiding was hiding underneath everything. Changeover. Um, hiding underneath everything, and I have a back injury. So I'm in a lot of pain, and I still couldn't get a hold of... Or I couldn't... Really, can't. I still couldn't actually get Isun to go into his room. So guess who's going to be spending all day stuck outside of his room tomorrow? He's doing this because he's upset about the fact that... Really, Zone? He's upset about the fact that I let him into his room. Technically, he was and uh, Zone was in Isun's room prior to Isun arriving in there today. And they fought over being in my presence. Isun won. I took Zone out of the room. And Isun's been a very whiny baby ever since. Zone, on the other hand, has been even more attached to me and threw up on my bed. So that's fun. So I guess this vlog, Vita, is just going to be a simple question. How do you handle cats with acting like these? I... I have lost. Ow! Kitty, your claws are really painful. Please be more gentle. I'm losing control over my cats. This one here is so obsessed with me that whenever I am anywhere nearby, he needs to be on top of me. And if he not, he if I'm not, he starts having anxiety attacks and throwing up and other behavioral issues. And in fact. He becomes even more clingy every time I'm away for longer than 24 hours. Given the fact that I'm going to be moving this year, which means lots of trips back and forth between Norway and Madison, that's going to happen often this year. Then there's Isin, who cannot coexist with Zone, apparently. 
even though I don't know why, Isun was actually the aggressor in this case. Uh, I don't know. Um, at the end after the Vita closing, I'm going to put a link to, to my two cats fighting, although they're not fighting very hard. Neither one were hissing or growling or anything. So I'm not entirely sure that they thought it was a serious fight. Uh, I don't know what to do with my cats at this point. And this is ignoring Boo. Boo is just afraid of every kitty. And my cats do not seem to understand that hissing means stay away. <sighs> cats. Can't live with them. Can't live without them. Talk to you tomorrow, Internet. Okay, we're back to the regal zone. Um... So, yeah, um, I'm still going to put the fight between Zone and Isun in the end of this video. Uh, it wasn't a very vicious fight or anything like that. <sighs> well, I might as well put it toward my face, even though I'm currently suffering from a lot of <sighs> image issues. Um, so, today was a better day than yesterday. Pain-wise, at least. Um, I actually got some work done, which is nice. I still feel like garbage because I've got next to no work done throughout the entire week this week. And I've also not really gotten anything done around the house. I just kind of feel like I'm not even treading water. I'm just drowning all the time. So, um, let's see. I did get a couple of things in the mail today. So, one thing that I want to try out are these. Uh, it's mirror imaged for you. Hey, editor me. Flip it around. Thanks. Um, so these are strapless N95 masks. I picked them up off of Project 95, Project N95 um, website for allocating N95 masks, along with some... Sorry, I keep walking back into the light. Uh, more traditional N95 masks, uh, because I am down to like two or three left. So I decided I wanted to try some of the strap list ones, shave my face, wear it, that type of thing. That might be better for airports, I'm not sure. And yeah, um, let's see. What else? Um, yeah, I've been having a really rough time for the past few days. Pain levels this morning were high enough where I took a painkiller. Um, a little concerned that the I had multiple sources of back pain this morning, so I'm a little concerned that rather than it just being me injuring myself from Isun, one of the sources of back pain was in a location that would indicate kidney pain. I am a kidney stone sufferer, so I'm really hoping that's not it, but I also haven't had any pain since taking that painkiller, so I'm hoping that it was just me retching my back with trying to catch Isun. Um, Isun has actually not been out all day today. And he's been fine with it, strangely enough. Uh, mostly because both Boo and Zone got deprived of being out and about yesterday. That was not great. Um, what else? Oh, um... Opinion question for people. Yeah, you can see the huge amount of alcohol bottles that my housemate has, along with the Metro Crap ton of hot sauce. Um, but the question is, what do you do with large amounts of tomato sauce? So I made a large pot, uh, the entire thing was full, of tomato sauce. There's some chicken, um, chicken thighs in there as well, bunless skinless. And I haven't quite figured out what I want to do with the rest of the sauce. I'm actually out of pasta in the house right now. Uh, entirely out, actually. I have a crust that I'm planning on trying to use for a pizza tomorrow. It's a cauliflower crust, which usually doesn't taste very good to me. Um, actually, do I need to defrost it? That's a good question. Let me grab the crust, maybe. You can see what I mean by my fridge and freezer's completely full, and almost all of this is my housemate stuff. I mean, like, this is mine. This specifically is mine. These are mine. This drawer is mine. 
and I'm sure there's a couple of random things in the rest of it, but the cauliflower crust in question. Uh, oh, there's apparently two crusts in this pack. And directions say... I am not seeing anything that says defrost. So I'm guessing it is bake from frozen. Yeah. Keep frozen. Okay, well, I don't have to defrost it. So, oh, sorry, it's not cauliflower, it's chickpea. That's right. I remember. It's because cauliflower crust usually ends up tasting terrible to me. Oh. So, let me back up. Um, I have an issue when it comes to taste. And I've only found out that other people don't treat it the same way I do. Ooh, you can see my arm in the background back there. Um, only recently found out that I'm weird this way. I conflate taste and texture. Where, when I was growing up, I couldn't stand onions. And the reason why is that I would tell my mom that I didn't like the taste of them, and she would respond with, Onions don't taste like anything. What are you talking about? What it was is that it's the texture of onions that I had problems with as a kid. I don't anymore. But cooked onions, specifically. Um, which, obviously, raw onions definitely have a taste. And cooked onions have a taste, too. I, I think that's just because my mom was a smoker and had greatly reduced taste buds. But anyway... Um, you can see even more in the background. Uh, point is that I tend to conflate texture and taste subconsciously. The problem is that I'm extremely picky about texture on pizza, crust on pizza specifically. It's probably the thing I'm pickiest about when it comes to pizza, even above that of toppings. So cauliflower crust pizza has a very different texture, even if it has a similar taste to traditional crusts. Which means that it's, to me, it's vile and disgusting, and to other people it's like, this tastes just like normal pizza, what are you talking about? Am I really the only one that texture is actually more important than the flavor itself? I, I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, this is just two days merged together with quick updates because I am really tired, and we're almost at the end of Vita, although I do still owe people longer... I don't technically do, because I have actually recorded something every day in the month of April, believe it or not. Um, well, today is what, the 20th? 29th. And I accidentally closed my video app. Um, camera app, whatever. Anyway, today's the 29th, which means tomorrow is technically the last day of Vita. I am planning on going on a trip tomorrow, downtown, but I don't know if I'm going to because the weather looks kind of crappy. Don't know. I may end up trying to do the video that I attempted to do a few days ago that horribly failed. I wanted to do a better introduction to what I'm actually running in my home lab and why I do what I do. Because it's not just because I like it and it's nifty. It's a majority of the reason why, but still. Anyway, I think that's about it. Have a nice night, Internet. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I can't tell if they're playing or fighting. Like, neither of them have actually hissed. And Isun did attack Zone playfully, it looked like. I think. Really hard to tell what in the world's going on. They're definitely both anxious and waiting to pounce. But I can't tell if this is in fighting or in playing. Oh, I see those eyes. Hey? See, to me, this seems more like fighting. So, I think I'm going to jump in and stop this.